did, the first thing we did was draw up a composition study featuring the skull, the octopus, the eye, the dolphins, and the shark. Even though this is not complete, we still added some elements from the first composition study, such as the skulls, the octopus, the shark, and the dolphin. We, we first did a first, composition, a first composition study to get an idea of what we're going to do. We picked the octopus, the eyeball, the skull, the dolphin, and the shark. The words behind this painting is hope and unity. The dolphin in this represents how everything in this picture ties together. The skull and its, the swirls in its eyes represent how death can be really crazy. And the shark is like the main element to show how things can be creepy and scary in the ocean. The eye in this painting gives the whole picture a mysterious feeling because of the colors and how it's not like a normal human eye. We didn't finish this composition study because we already finished the first one and we chose it. But in this composition study, there are three skulls in three corners and they represent death. And since we didn't finish the composition study, there were supposed to be swirls inside the eyes to represent the craziness of death and everything. There's an octopus in the middle and there's a dolphin entangled in the octopus's tentacles. There was also supposed to be another one for unity, but like I said, we didn't finish it. And the dolphin, and the shark also means hope because the shark can save the dolphins by like hurting the octopus. Yes. This is our final piece. We, we, as you can see, we picked our very first piece, but instead of making the octopus entangle the, the dolphins, we let it free, so it seems like it's the guardian of all things.